okay let's see a few more examples of cyclic subgroup and so consider so here we go we are considering the group z we already know that this is a group 1 minus 1 i minus i where i square equals to minus 1 this is a group under multiplication so g is a group under multiplications under uh, multiplications so now let's see what is the subgroup generated by the elements one so the L one is the collection of all one to the power n such that n is from the set of integers now what about 1 to the power 0 1 to the power 0 is 1 1 to the power 1 is 1 1 square is 1 1 cube is 1 so in this way if I take the negative negative 1 to the power minus 1 is again 1 so 1 to the power minus 2 is again 1 so the subgroup the cyclic subgroup generated by one is basically the only singleton set the singleton set contain the only element one okay let's check the subgroup generated by the elements minus one so we are talking about the subgroup which is cyclic and generated by the elements minus one so here we have the collection of minus n and n belongs to a set of integers so minus 1 whole to the power 0 we know that this is the identity element 1 minus 1 to the power 1 is minus 1 minus 1 square is 1 minus 1 cube is minus 1 so you c if you go in this way minus 1 whole to the power minus 1 is minus 1 minus 1 whole square obviously gives the uh, again 1 so in this way so you can clearly see that the only outputs are 1 and minus 1 so the cyclic subgroup generated by minus 1 contain two elements minus 1 and 1 okay let's check the subgroup so let me erase this first so we are talking about the subgroup generated by the elements i so generated by the elements i so what about so this is the collection of all i to the power n n belongs the set of integers so i to the power 0 obviously 1 we know that i to the power 1 is i i square is minus 1 i cube is minus i i to the power 4 is again 1 i to the power 5 it gives i so you can see that the elements are repeating in this way and we get the outputs 1 i minus 1 minus i so i is the subgroup generated by i is basically the whole set g also so we can write so this is the whole group g so we get in this way so let's check another uh, we have another element left for the say group g so we have minus i so what about minus i the subgroup cyclic subgroup generated by minus i is a collection of all minus i whole to the power n n belongs to the set of integers so we get minus i whole to the power 0 is obviously 1 minus i whole to the power 1 is minus i minus i whole square it gives again minus 1 minus i whole cube gives i minus i whole to the power 4 we get 1 so you can see that we get all the four elements so we get 1 we get minus 1 we get minus i minus 1 i so again you can see that the whole the the subgroup generated by minus i is a whole group g so we get the whole group g if you see if i take i to the power minus 5 is going to again we get the 
uh, elements say i to the power minus i so its elements are repeating cyclic in cyclic form so we get so we have four subgroup for the uh, for cyclic subgroup for the group g and this is the group subgroup generated by one which contain the only elements one the subgroup cyclic sub generated by minus on is minus one and one and the cyclic subgroup generated by i is the whole group g and the cyclic subgroup generated by minus i is again the whole group g so this is one of our example let's see another example so let me erase this first so in this way so let's talk about the group suppose we are talking about the group z4 so we have the group z4 which is contained the distinct class of modulo 4 so 2 bar 3 bar and we know that z4 with additions is a group so what we going to do for this when we have in addition notations so what we going to do we going to find the subgroup h if i take an elements a from the group z4 in the addition notations instead of a to the power n we going to write n a n belongs to any integers so n a means we are talking about the collection a 2a 3a 4a in this way and if negative direction we are talking about minus a minus 2a minus 3a and so on so h is the collection of all such elements and h is generated by the elements a we write in this notation uh, when we are talking about addition uh, when we are talking about the composition is addition so let's see what about the cyclic subgroup generated by the element 0 bar which means we have to take in the elements n into 0 bar so n is from the set of integers so we are talking about the element 0 bar so 0 bar is 0 bar now 2 0 bar means we are adding 0 bar 2 times 0 bar plus 0 bar we get 0 bar 3 0 bar so we are adding 0 bar 3 times 0 bar plus 0 bar plus 0 bar we get 0 bar so you can see in this way if i talking about minus 0 bar so which is the inverse of the element 0 bar and we know the inverse of 0 bar is 0 bar because 0 bar plus 0 bar is 0 bar so negative 0 bar is basically 0 bar so inverse of 0 bar is 0 bar so we get 0 bar so 2 0 bar is again 0 bar so we get all the elements is the collection of only the singleton elements 0 bar so the subgroup generated by 0 bar is the singleton set 0 bar so let's see another subgroups or uh, for another cyclic subgroup generated by the elements of z4 what about 1 bar so 1 bar is again collection of all the elements n 1 bar n belongs to the set of integers so first we have 1 1 bar means only 1 bar 2 1 bar means 1 bar plus 1 bar which is 2 bar 3 1 bar means 1 bar plus 1 bar plus 1 bar which is 3 bar so 4 1 bar means 1 bar plus 1 bar plus 1 bar plus 1 bar which is 4 times so 4 bar is in this group z4 if i divide it 4 by 4 we get 0 so 4 bar is 0 bar in this group z4 so here we have a 4 and here we have 4 so 4 divided by 4 is 0 remain that 0 so we get the 0 bar so what about 5 into 1 bar so you can clearly see that this again gives 1 bar so all the elements are repeated 1 bar 0 bar 2 bar 3 bar so it's basically hold the group z4 which is 0 bar 1 bar 2 bar 3 bar so what about the subgroup cyclic subgroup generated by 2 so if i take the negative of 1 bar minus 1 bar so what is the inverse of minus 1 bar so minus 1 bar 
if I add to it x bar we have to get 0 bar so you can clearly see that x bar have to be equals to 1 bar because minus 1 bar plus 1 bar is basically because we know that minus 1 bar so so minus 1 bar plus 1 bar it gives us 0 bar so negative of 1 bar is minus 1 bar so minus 1 bar means basically we are talking about the elements you can see that clearly so this is basically we get the um, minus 1 by inverse of minus 1 bar sorry I have just written a wrong thing so inverse of minus 1 bar is 1 bar basically so in this way it's going on uh, so let's check for 2 bar So we are talking about two bar. Uh, sorry, I, I have made I have made a mistakes in last part. So what we going to find out? We going to have find out minus of one bar, which means we have to find the inverse of one one bar, not the inverse of minus one. Sorry, minus one bar is the we have to find the inverse of one bar so which one is the inverse minus one bar means the inverse of one bar so which one is the inverse of one bar so we can clearly see that one plus three bar is gives us four bar so which is zero bar so inverse of one bar is basically three bar so inverse minus one bar is three bar so minus two into one bar means so two times inverse of one bar so minus one plus minus one bar so which is three bar plus three bar which is six bar and we get two bar so in this way sorry for the mistakes uh, so let's check for the cyclic subgroup generated by two bar so cyclic subgroup generated by two bar is the collection of again the, so what is one into two bar means only one two bar 2 into 2 bar means 2 bar plus 2 bar which gives 0 bar so we get the 0 bar because 2 bar plus 2 bar is 4 bar which is 0 bar so 3 into 2 bar means 3 times 2 bar so 2 bar plus 2 bar plus 2 bar which is 6 bar and 6 bar is 2 bar so you can see that all elements are repeating it's either 2 bar or 0 bar so if I go in negative direction minus of 2 bar means we have to find the inverse of 2 bar so you can see from clearly here we have 2 bar plus 2 bar is 0 bar so inverse of 2 bar is 2 bar so inverse of 2 bar is 2 bar so minus 2 bar is 2 bar so all the elements are repeating in this way so we only get 2 elements 0 bar and 2 bar so what about uh, the cyclic subgroup generated by 3 bar so let's talk about that the cyclic subgroup generated by 3 bar so 3 bar which means we have to taking again the collection of all 3 bar 2 3 bar 3 3 bar and so on in also negative direction minus 3 bar minus 2 3 bar and so on in this way so now 3 bar 1 3 bar is 3 bar 2 into 3 bar is 3 bar plus 3 bar which is 6 bar which gives us 2 bar because 6 bar in the group Z4 is 2 bar because if I divide a 6 by 4 we get the remainder 2 so 6 bar is 2 bar so what about 3 into 3 bar it gives us 9 bar which is basically if I divide it by 4 so we get 1 bar again 4 3 bar is 12 bar and we get 0 bar again so we get all the elements so if I find the negative direction also you will find the all such elements we give we get the all the outcome 3 bar 0 bar 1 bar 2 bar so it's a whole sub whole the group z4 so 3 bar is the whole group so the cyclic subgroup generated by 3 bar 
is the basically improper subgroup whole of J4 so we can see that all the subgroup they are the all cyclic subgroup of the group Z4 with the composition addition okay now let's talk about what is called a cyclic group so I want to just think about it uh, what is cyclic subgroup and here we are going to introduce the concept of cyclic group so instead of subgroup we are talking about a cyclic subgroup so let me just erase this part and talk about that so here we go here we are we are talking about the definition of cyclic group so here we have the definition so let z with a composition be a group then g is called g is called a cyclic subgroup uh, sorry a cyclic group g is called a cyclic group generated generated by an elements so generated by an by an elements elements a belongs to z if so it's not always true that for each group we can find uh, such an elements that uh, we can write in this way so a group g is called a cyclic subgroup generated by an element a if g is equal to the cyclic subgroup generated by a so g is equal to the cyclic subgroup generated by a so in other words to say so g is basically what we get g is the collection of all elements a to the power n n belongs to the set z if such an elements exist then we will call the g is a cyclic group it's not always true that they are always exist as an elements and we can write in this way so in this uh, case a is called the generator of the group so a is called a is called the generator called the generator of the group G generator rator of G of the cyclic group G. So in this way, in another way to say, in another words, so in another words to in other way to say, other way to say that each and every elements can be expressed. So each element, each elements element of g can be expressed can be expressed in some integral power of in some integral power of a integral sorry for my handwriting integral power of a so if each element of the group can be expressed in some integral power of an elements of the group then we will call the g is a cyclic group and we have also in other way to say that each element of g can be expressed in some integral power of a means it can be written as sum so each and every elements of the group g can be written as a to the power sum integers so each and every element of the group g can be written as a to the power some integral some integers in some integers p some k in this way so g is basically becomes the collection of all a a square a cube in this way and also in a negative direction minus one minus two and so on if such a uh, if we can find a group g which has this type of property that each and every elements can be written as a sum integral power of an elements or just in another way to say the g is an element so if we find an elements where g is the generated by the elements a which is equals to the subgroup generated by elements a then g is called a cyclic subgroup generated by that elements 
So let's see some examples. So first, let me erase all this part. So we are already have seen some example, but I just want to remind you uh, again. So that's why I just again write that element. So consider the group of all integers. So group of all integers. Also oh, before that, let's talk about some finite good cyclic group. So some example. Example. So in our last example, we have talked about that uh, uh, the group G, which contains the elements one minus one identity I. Sorry, identity element, not other elements. The I minus i where i square the complex number i where i square is one minus one and we know that g under multiplication under multiplication is a group under multiplication is a group now we already seen that consider the subgroup generated by the elements i so what about that so i to the power one is i so before that i to the power zero which is the identity elements one i to the power i square will give minus one and i cube is basically we get minus i so you can see that each and every elements of the group is uh, we get each and every elements we get one we get i we get minus i and we get minus i so the elim the subgroup generated by i is same as the group g so here g is cyclic subgroup generated by i so g is a cyclic sub a cyclic group g is an example of cyclic group and g is generated generated by the elements i also i want to remind you that if i talking about the subgroup generated by minus i what we get from here so minus i to the power zero gives one minus i whole to the power one gives minus i minus i whole square gives minus one and minus i whole to the power four gives one so we get so sorry minus one and what we get from here so oh i have talking forget about the minus i whole cube which gives us basically i so we get all the elements one minus i one and i we get the all the elements of the group so you can see that minus i is also a generator of the group g so for a cyclic group g it's not always true that the group generated by an only one element so a group may have two different generators so generator of the group is not unique so generator 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 of the cyclic subgroup cyclic group is not unique cyclic group is not unique so a group may have two different generators so remember all such thing it as this is very important for mcq type of problem so group may have two different uh, generator and here we go so in another way in another way to look at this thing so you can if i look in another way to so if i look it in another way so we can see that so the elements so each talk about each element so one one is an element of the group g and one is i to the power zero so we can express one is some integral power of i so integral power power is zero over here so minus one is i square so it's also an integral power of i and i is i to the power one so it's again integral power of i and minus i is i cube so it's again integral power of i so in another way another way to look at this thing that each and every elements of the group 
is some integral power of the elements of the generator I. So also we can observe the for cyclic group each and every element can be expressed the integral power of the generator of that uh, of the group of that cyclic group. So let's take another example of cyclic subgroup. So let's talk about uh, infinite cyclic subgroup. So here we go. We are talking about an example of infinite cyclic subgroup. Sorry, cyclic group. So here we go. So we know that the Z is the set of all integers which is going on in this way minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 and so on z is a set of all integers and we know that z with the composition additions is a group now we claim that this is an example of cyclic group generated by one why because uh, let's see that how can we find that so is this actually true or not so let's see that so i think first of all let's see is this a cyclic subgroup or not so i'm forgettable sorry for that i am just want to verify this is cyclic subgroup or not so what we have now so here we have the group z with the composition addition so here we have the identity elements zero so can we get so we have the identity element zero so zero can be written as sorry i have not have zero bar forget about that we have zero over here so zero can i write is as zero into one obviously we can write that one can be written as can i write one into one obviously we can write that so what about two so because we have what we are talking about if it's a cyclic group so we can find an elements a belongs to z such that each and every elements of the group can be written as n into a where n is the form an integer so each and every elements can be written as n into a a is the will be the generator of the group so here 0 can be written as 0 into 1 so 0 times 1 1 is 1 into 1 2 is 2 times 1 so we can write 2 into 1 so 3 is 3 times 1 so we can write 3 into 1 so in this way each and every elements uh, of positive integers can be written so n into n 1 if i go in a negative direction minus 1 can be written as uh, minus 1 into 1 so here we have an integer into 1 minus 2 can be written as minus 2 into 1 so here we also have an integers into 1 so what we find out that out so each and every elements can be written so n into a so z is basically n into 1 so n belongs to the z so z is generated by the elements 1 with the uh, composition additions because each and every elements is a uh, basically very trivial the each and every elements of the group can be expressed some n into one form n into one form and we have find that out one is one into one two is and integers two into one three is three into one in this way and we find all that minus one is minus one into one so minus one this was minus one is an integers minus two is an integer so we can write in this way so each and every elements of z can be expressed uh, some integer into one so z is a cyclic subgroup cyclic group z plus is a cyclic group so we verify that this is a cyclic group generated by the element generated by one i just want to ask you the question thus so just verify for yourself thus z plus is generated 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 uh, sorry rated by minus one or not verify for yourself 
the integer set of integers with additions is generated by minus 1 or not verify for yourself so they are all such an example of cyclips uh, group we are talking about the example of uh, finite cyclic subgroup now here we have an example of infinite cyclic subgroup so in this directions i just want to uh, just uh, uh, just uh, i want you very carefully observe all this thing you will find that out we have all such example you have uh, do it for cyclic group you will find that out here we have that results we find that out we will achieve this results so it says that if a is a generator of the group then the inverse also the generator of the cyclic subgroup so here we have a result very important results so let me write down the results for you we, you have already seen that results it says that if a group if a group is generated by an element by an element of the group by an elements a of the group of the group then then is also generated by is also generated by the inverse of that element generated sorry for again for the mistakes uh, let me write it is the so generated so is generated so generated by a to the power minus one so which is the inverse of the elements so if we have the group g is generated by the elements a then it's clearly this result says that it's obviously generated by inverse of that elements so you already have seen that so here we have that example so we have already find out that the group g with the addition composition one minus one i and minus i uh, is generated by i and also i want you to remind that is also generated by minus i and we know that inverse of i is minus y because i into minus i gives us one because we get i square minus i square which is one so we get the identity elements so inverse of i inverse i inverse so inverse i has the inverse minus i so inverse of i is minus i and also minus i is the inverse of i so minus i is basically minus uh, i to the minus one is basically minus i so in this way you can see that the result is verified also if you do for yourself you also that find that out j with addition the group uh, with addition all generated by one we already have seen that it's well going to generate it by minus one again because the inverse of minus one is one and inverse of one is minus one in the group so all the results are verified over here so they are all such things so that's all for today we in, in the next class we will see that the cyclic subgroup is always a commutative group so i just want you to go through all these lectures and uh, solve some problems it will always beneficial to you and always give you some wings to understand the topic so thank you again for watching